good or nothing and that is spiritually if you see materially being foolish is good mm-hmm. that's what define yeah, that yes, define it correct it is mm-hmm. what you told some me people may think that oh that's not see, foolish oh, so, example you have to yeah like one see, example you gave for example like if yeah. people may say Understand. oh i am i'm not to know okay okay fine here i next so so hiranyakashipu was one person who thought he, that uh, he was the king so kings uh, okay let's see vena vena who was the grandson of yama he said that uh, um who was the king is god and putting who was the king is god as god all gods must pay respect to the king tell them to start the giving food to everyone lord of all gods So he thought you every king will become a god. No, 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 so no, this kind of no, no, this uh, wrong is things are no, 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 ओम No, you don't answer my question. Why so much? Okay, so whenever they are bad people, to kill the bad people, you need violence. So, so like, uh, if they are like, um, uh, now yakshas, yakshas are very dangerous people. So, if we need to destroy the yakshas, who are greater than humans, then there is need of violence. So, because of that violence, there is need of kings. Because of kings, there was need of Dhanur Veda Shastra. Because of Dhanur Veda Shastra, there was need of the Vedas. Because of the Vedas. But our freedom was fought without violence, no? How is that? Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, Actually, father of uh, our nation. We didn't get freedom because of uh, that. We got freedom because the British were already fed up of having all of these countries in control. Like physically controlling them. They wanted to mentally control as they are doing now. Now they are making everybody wear sh- uh, pants and shirt and go- going around. They have changed the entire school system. <laughs> and also making people go for job like my father mm-hmm. IT here there everything so they are mentally controlling us now so physiologically they used to control before but they are, they are fed up of doing that now so now they are controlling both mm-hmm. which yuga okay. was that whatever you were talking uh, about now, now it was satya yuga the satya yuga yes. in satya yuga you had so many demons yes thousands of demons were there in satya yuga. so now we have less now? is what you mean mm-hmm. no now they well, are less powerful same, the same demons but if they are demons if if you see a demon in front of you you believe there is god no it is a, oh a demon 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 at least look at the demon god only so we start believing in these scriptures then so god doesn't want to show you demons but he wants to show you people in the form of demons so that you believe okay okay there is no demon but they are people today's demons are less powerful than uh, no they are they in fact uh, very powerful but uh, they come in the form of humans and that's why they are able to control the world no demon in past days you, you will be able to control the world for a period of time like Hiranya Kashyapu take him like uh, um, Narasimha killed him so then um, Hiranyaksha, Varaha killed him so all of these demons some of them were being killed now we are having so many demons Bill Gates and thousands of other people Rothschild and uh, uh, Rockefeller all of these demons so. Why did Brahma, when he created this world, he created this bad, means terrorism and everything? Uh, he could have made only good, good now. Why so he made bad? Good is characterized by the feature of bad. If you want to say what is good, you have to first say what is bad. No. So if you want to explain what is good, you have to say good is the opposite of bad. So you are comparing. So we have to get something good. And to, and to prove that good is good, we need somebody bad so that we can react to bad. Now, if I uh, so now if I uh, trouble somebody and that person troubles me back, then that person is bad, and even I am bad because I started it and he gave it back. If that if that person does not take it and just thinks of the Lord, then I am bad and that person is good. So to know and to uh, act like this, good is always characterized by bad. So that's why bad is always necessary. And to and to portray good people, we always need bad people also. Like Dromaraja Yakshas. 
Yakshas were bad Guru was good. So if there were no, if there were no Yakshas, there was no um, period of time for Dhruva to prove that he was good. That's why there is always need of bad also. And bad is an element in the world which has to be destroyed. It cannot be ever destroyed and Brahma didn't create bad. It only came slowly. It started coming itself. So it, whenever money is created, bad comes. So we say money is good in the beginning and then it becomes bad. If money was not there, of course. And then when every single thing has a bad thing, you know, this cloth, if it gets spoiled, you can say it's bad and you can blame Brahma for that. So for everything, there is one bad thing. Even if you have created everything good, somehow bad would have got stuck in that good thing. So, that's all. All of us uh, believe that you know, there is only one God and all of them are equal. Yes. And then why is there a you know, uh, chain where there is one God above and one God yes. higher than many? So, there is a thing. We call God by different names. Yeah. There is one central God. Some people call Shiva, some people call Krishna. And if you see in Vishnu Sasnama, uh, there is Shiva in the name. That means Shiva is also Krishna. So there is a name of Shiva, he said the Vishnu Sasnama, which is Sarva Sarva Shiva Sthanam. Sthanam is also name of Shiva. Shiva is also name of Shiva. That means when Vishnu Sasnama, in Vishnu Sasnama is there Shiva's name, that means Shiva is also equal to Vishnu. So that's why we call it in different names. Rahu, Indra, all of these people are just chiefs. That's all. Now we have a chief minister. We have many chief ministers for Karnataka, Shidharamani. So all of these two different chief ministers, they are all under one prime minister. No? So it's like that. They are not different prime ministers. Are they? No. So that's why there is only one God, and all the other Rahu, all of these people, Indra, Yama, Agni, Varuna, all of these others are just chiefs. They are not God. So God is only Shiva, Vishnu, some people say Allah, some people say Jehovah. Yeah, but then why is there a superiority for Vishnu and not for Shiva? And why is there a superiority existing? And we are trying to say that all the gods are the same and there is no dominance of one god over the other. Uh, there is, so the, so it's not that one, they are demigods. So Shiva is grouped as a demigod. He is not god, he is demigod. Demigod means he was created by Brahma's eyes. When Brahma was sweating, Shiva came out later from his eyes, exactly. Because he was angry. So, Shiva is a form of anger. So, anger can never be God, no? So, when anger becomes like that, that is a demigod, not a God. God is um, um, Lord Krishna or Vishnu. Who shows anger, but only to each others. But when he gets, he never gets angry personally. That's how it is. Any other questions? Why is uh, Brahma not worshipped uh, every time as uh, yes, there was a story. Vishnu and... Yeah. yeah, there was a story that um, Brahma had cheated Shiva once. He had taken uh, the Ketaki flower, uh, sorry, he had taken the Ketaki flower and said, I have seen the end of the Linga. Linga is always, it's unendable, it's too expansive and it's fiery. So, I have seen the end of the Linga. He cheated um, Shiva like that. So, Shiva told you will never be worshipped anywhere. Me and Vishnu, only we both will be worshipped everywhere as popular Now this again, both of them are gods, but why is Shiva uh, taking revenge against the person who was created? Okay, so this is another thing because, <laughs> yeah, it's very good question, because whether I have created or not, whether a person is created or not, if I have done a mistake, that means if I am cheating or lying or anything, if the creator itself is cheating or lying, then he has to be punished. So that's why... But what about forgiveness? He could have simply forgiven... That's why God Shiva is the power of anger. So, 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 so then he takes sins over himself by... Yeah, you know, so is Shiva is equally uh, yeah. committing a sin by you know, uh, going but against the person... But creator. Shiva's anger can burn the sins also. <laughs> anger, anger against creates his sins. He keeps burning his sins by every single anger. Uh, but that anger is also forbidden. So he doesn't get any sin by the anger. That's the correct thing because he's doing good for Brahma. Brahma has to realize he has done some mistake. So for that, he has to use anger. The same way Krishna also kills Shishupala, but inside doesn't feel anger. Shiva from inside only burst out with anger because he was born itself with anger. I think one of the things you can actually, which is very uh, obvious is the followers of Vishnu and the followers of Shiva, you see the traits they display, you know, both sets of followers, you will really get to know, uh, you actually take, you I take am the characters, surely correct? not uh, on the side of the Vishnu followers also, not on the <laughs> side of Shiva followers, Kalyu. because 
Vishnu followers have changed the scriptures in which Shiva says that he has taken poison, no? So, yeah. poison will be stuck here. They have said Agni has taken the poison. The Madhvas, they have changed it and they have said oh, yeah. Agni took the yeah. poison. Agni is near Kantha. And then Shivite followers, they used to slaughter these Vishnu followers for that. Same fight. Again, and then they should change the scriptures, they used to slaughter them. So but the yeah, like Shaivism and uh, you know, Vaishnavism, uh, Vaishnavism. 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 Right, there are two sects. You just follow one of them and have God as the center of your life. That's about it. Doesn't matter. I mean, what name you call. But I think that's more. Isn't that? Is yeah. Right? But in the scriptures, it is defined that Vishnu is more pleasant than Shiva. It's difficult to concentrate on Shiva for a long time because of his form. The form that he has, it will generate anger in yourself too if you see his form. It may generate like power in you, but anger also along with it. So if you if you see Vishnu, you get power, no anger, no greed, none of the things. So that's why it's better to concentrate on Vishnu's form, is what is written in the scriptures. Okay, then why isn't there an end to Shiva? Because each human is created, it also has an end. He's not so, a human, he's a curd. See, milk is different from curd. Yeah. Some people like curd, some people like milk. Shiva is like curd, Vishnu is like milk. So, milk is a source of curd. So, we can say Krishna is a source of Shiva. So, some people can concentrate on Shiva if they are very powerful. If you are powerful, surely you can go and concentrate on Shiva. If you are less powerful and you want to start devotion, then first is Vishnu. That's all. So, would you pray to Shiva? You? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, both. I love all gods actually. <laughs> yeah, right. I agree to that. Follow everybody. Do what you uh, What the scriptures have said, you don't know. None of the scriptures have said bad about Shiva, nor about Vishnu. Even if there's anything bad, it is some distortion by these foreigners. Foreigners learn Sanskrit for this one purpose that they can make distortions and break.